I went to the doctor. I was like, Doc, I have uh, tinnitus or tinnitus, whatever you guys are calling it. My ears are ringing. And then he said, okay, I'm going to test your hearing. And I was like, oh, no, that's okay. My hearing is great. I hear everything plus ringing. So <laughs> I kind of have superpower hearing, if you think about it. I'm hearing shit that's not even in the room. <laughs> he gave me the hearing test. I passed it, nailed it. Great hearing. Then he said, uh, I'm going to look in your ears to make sure it's nothing obvious. I thought that was kind of hilarious because he didn't explain what obvious would be. Like he's gonna look in my ear and be like, oh, there's a tiny alarm clock in your ear canal. That's, that's a very rare condition. I'm gonna reach in there and hit the snooze for you. You'll be fine for like nine minutes. But he looked at my ear, it was nothing obvious. So then he was out of things. He's like, well, your hearing is great and there's nothing obvious causing the problem. Then he said this, he goes, you have an overbite. Might have something to do with your overbite. That was it, no science, no confidence. He just picked out a thing I'm physically self-conscious about. I was like, maybe that? Could be your small dick also, I don't know. You have a, you have a lot of problems, you're very unattractive. And I'm like, ooh, that's, that's unfair. I felt insulted, I always feel insulted at the doctor. Don't you feel so vulnerable at the doctor? Everything he says, he tried to explain tinnitus. He's like, you have tiny little hairs in your ear. And I was like, you have big hairs in your nose, asshole. Why don't you leave me alone, you bully? <laughs> then he said, uh, he goes, I recommend getting a white noise machine. And I was like, you're a white noise machine. <laughs> I was like, what does a white noise machine do? He goes, well, that way you're hearing the white noise instead of the sound that you're hearing. And I was like, right, the sound I'm hearing is white noise. Like, I have a white noise machine in my head. That's the issue. You're telling me to get surround sound of the problem I'm telling you I have. That'd be like if you had a bad smell in your nose and you went to the doctor and he was like, put a little dog shit on your lip. <laughs> Just every morning, scoop a little dog shit on your upper lip. That's what I would do. That way you're smelling dog shit. That'll be $8,000. We don't take any insurance. God bless America. <laughs> then I went to the dentist. I've been going to the dentist a lot. I didn't go to the dentist for like 10 years. Don't skip years. I thought you could just skip over those years, but they make you make up for the time you missed. I hate the dentist. I love my dentist personally. Like he's a good guy. We're friends. I love him. But dentists are the doctor I trust the least. I think they're just making shit up. Like cavities, I feel like those are completely made up by the dental industry. Nobody's on board with this, but my dentist was like, you have a cavity. And I was like, do I? It doesn't hurt. And he's like, cavities don't always hurt. And I was like, I don't see anything. And he's like, you can't really see cavities. I was like, this is awfully convenient for you, isn't it? It doesn't hurt and I can't see it, but you need to fix it. That's a little suspicious if you ask me. He's like, you can ignore it, but it'll turn into a root canal. And I was like, now I feel like you're threatening me. I think you're making shit up and you're threatening me with it. I was like, whatever, fill it, I guess. He filled the cavity. I think he filled it. I have no idea. <laughs> they numb your mouth. You can't feel what they're doing. And you can't see what they're doing. So he might have been crocheting. I have no idea what this guy did. But he charged me 500 bucks, which seemed high, you know? And then I went back six months later. You gotta go every six months. And this time I needed a root canal. Different tooth. It wasn't even hurting. He's like, you need a root canal. And I was like, which tooth? And he's like, whichever one you want. Just pick a tooth. I just wanna <laughs> make some extra cash for the holidays. I was like, are you sure I need a root canal? He's like, oh yeah. He showed me the x-ray. Doctors love to show you the x-ray as though you've read an x-ray at any point in your entire life. He tosses it up there, he's like, take a look. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't, I read books and tweets almost exclusively. I don't, and he's like, see how it's all white right here? And I'm like, well, it's a black and white photo. So the whole goddamn photo is white. Um, I was like, I can't afford a root canal. I was like, what are those, like $3,000? He goes, they're not $3,000. He said like I was an idiot. He's like, they're not $3,000. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm not a dentist and you don't have a menu with prices on it, okay? I was like, how much do they cost? He said $1,800, which is a little frustrating because I feel like I was in the ballpark. It's not like I said 75,000, I was pretty close. They did the root canal, which was fine. And then afterwards, he's like, now you need a crown. And I was like, how much did the crown cost? And with a straight face, he said, $1,200. <laughs> I swear to God, that's not even a joke at all. I was like, what? I'm sorry, that sounds an awful lot like $3,000. You could have at least given me the satisfaction of nailing it. 
I should get both prizes for getting the... <laughs> Have you guys had root canals? They're a bummer. They're not that bad. I've had like nine in the last three weeks, but... <laughs> they got their hooks in me. They're not that bad. They numb your mouth, like I said. So it doesn't hurt, but this is what they do. They drill into your tooth. I won't get too graphic. They drill into your tooth, and they just pull the roots out. They toss them or plant them. I don't know what they're doing with the roots. They collect them. Then they do, what they do is they whittle your tooth down to like a little piece of shit nub, and then they glue a fake tooth on top of that, and then they go like this. We saved it. We saved your tooth. I'm like, you did. You saved it. You did quite a bit of damage right before you saved it. Most of my tooth is on my glasses right now, but you fixed it up new. It'd be like if you went to get a haircut and they just shaved your head and gave you a wig and they're like, we fixed it. It looks a lot better. It looked ridiculous for a minute there. That'll be 1800 for the haircut and 1200 for the wig. It's a package deal. Then I went to the eye doctor, I got an eye exam. I didn't get an eye exam for like 10 years. Do you know why I didn't get an eye exam for 10 years? Because I was basing it off dental prices. I thought I couldn't afford an eye exam. I was like, it cost me $3,500 to fix two teeth that weren't even bothering me. What the hell is eyesight gonna cost? Uh, $75, that's how, much, that's how much an eye exam costs in New York City, 75 bucks. I showed up with $5,000 in my pocket. I walked in there with all my money. I was like, just let me see again. I'll give you the rest when I have it. They're like, that'll be 75 bucks. I'm like, are you shitting me? Give me two eye exams. Double check both eyes. I'll pay for that. I'll pay for everybody's eye exams all day. I'm like Daddy Warbucks in here. I don't think eye doctors have any idea how much dentists are charging out there. They could really up their prices if they wanted to. But I thought maybe like eye doctors like the lowest self-esteem doctor. They're like, can you read the bottom line? It's fine if you can't. I can't either. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm stupid. My dad hates me. And you're like, jeez, you all right? How are teeth more expensive than eyes? That's like unbelievable to me. You have so many more teeth. If you lose a tooth, nobody even notices. If you lose an eye, you have a new nickname. People notice. If you lose an eye, your friends are going to be like, didn't you used to have multiple eyes? <laughs> you did, you had two. I thought you had two.